Hey guys, how are you doing, you beautiful, gorgeous people of the web? Um, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, my name is James and I am a lover of music. Now, I'm going to go straight into this video. First of all, I'm always going to say thank you to you guys for subscribing and liking the videos. Thank you for going on this journey with me. And um, yeah, guys, I've got so much to say because I think I'm more excited to do this reaction video than you guys that might like or enjoy watching it but um i always talk about nostalgia and memories and how much music makes me smile and i have been doing a britney spears vma um reaction if you will and i might go back depending on what you guys want and i might do some old britney videos or if you guys want me to react to anything else britney outside the vma performances then please do let me know um if copyright don't ruin it but um, yeah, so I remember, I've said this before, but I'm a huge Christina Aguilera fan. And when I was younger, I was part of her like pop music forums, if you will. So I was a part of Live Daily, which went then turned into After LD and then turned into Xtina.red. Um, and then basically, I remember being a teenager and um, it was a video music awards and obviously I'm in the United Kingdom and there's a time difference so um, I woke up the next morning not really thinking much um, and I was like oh let me check out the VMAs and um, my girl Christina performed and um, every tabloid, every newspaper, every pop music radio station and every forum was talking about, open quotation, that kiss, close quotation. And I was like, what? Like, what? A kiss? Like, what are people going on about? And I was like, I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> what, like, what the hell have I missed out on during my time asleep? And I have to say, guys, I read someone's comment on this and it said, like, kids today will never understand... And I'm sorry, guys, but you had to have lived through how epic this moment was. And for me, the VMAs died after this performance. Nothing, nobody ever, not even Beyonce, came far to suppressing how iconic this performance was. And I'll discuss this in the video. So you're probably thinking, OK, what's next on the journey? Which obviously Britney Spears, Christina fans, Madonna fans will know. And it was, and this is how iconic it was, but my newspaper was doing um, a kind of token collection where if you kind of collected tokens, um, you got this poster, which was, are you ready for this? There you go. Let's see if you guys can see that. And there, if you look, is the kiss. So I'll have that framed in my room, so that, that's a little moment of pop culture. So let's get straight into the video, guys. And this is Like a Virgin Hollywood, the most iconic VMA performance of all time. Um, and let's get straight into it. Sorry for the long intro, but you guys know, if you are fans of these artists, how amazing this moment was. I never knew that was Lord Madonna's daughter, by the way. There she is, Brit Brit. Don't she look amazing? Avril look impressed. <laughs> oh guys, like how amazing. So imagine nobody knew what was coming and then you've literally got what it was guys and um, people that are too young. So in, I mean, I wasn't born when this performance happened, but the original was Madonna, who done the Like a Virgin performance in a wedding dress, um, which was a part of pop culture for that era. I think it was like 1985. Um, no, it would have been 1983 because it was 20 years. Um, 
And yeah, it was a huge moment of pop culture that is something else to discuss. So it was like a tribute. And then you've got Britney Spears, who basically every artist at this moment in time was in their prime. Um, Stripped was Christina's peak, where she literally dominated Europe and America. Um, Britney, always iconic. And then you've got like Madonna, who's like a living legend. So for those artists to come together, it was like literally like phenomenal. Um, yeah. Well, with a kiss. Mary, Mary, sort your face out, have a drink, and just enjoy yourself. It always irritated me that bit. Can't stop smiling. Amazing. Britney's got such a sexy voice as well. I love when... There's something about Britney where... I don't know what it is. Like... Like... I kind of feel like she is underrated as vocalist. Obviously, like, I love Christina. And what I look for from Christina is vocals. But what I look for from Britney Spears is excellent pop music and performance. So, I know those artists. I've got a friend who's a Britney Spears stan. And he knows I'm a Christina stan. And he'll always slate Christina to me to, like, wind me up. But, like, enjoy both. Like, what when you look back now, there's no artist in this day and age. And maybe it is an age thing. But nobody, I said that before, but that magic is just not the same anymore. Like, this was truly iconic. And what made it amazing as well um, is the fact that... Um, when Christina Aguilera did the beautiful music video, she wasn't the first to feature a gay kiss. Madonna's Justify My Love was the first music video to feature a gay kiss. But when Christina did Beautiful, even though you've got shows like RuPaul now um, and a lot of shows where they're very gay friendly and it reaches a higher mass of audiences. But you've got to remember at that time to get like anything to do with homosexuality was still quite a taboo subject. So that's why the kiss was so iconic um, because it was kind of breaking down boundaries which M uh, Madonna has always done throughout her career and then Christina also did that in the beautiful music video as well where the gay kiss itself didn't break away which is why I think she deserves a video VMA Vanguard as well for her contribution to music like she might not be as popular in mainstream but there's no denying she pushed boundaries and was also an excellent video artist of that era Oh my gosh. Look at even the performance skills as well, like the reaction and all that. She's trying not to laugh, I couldn't help it. I've literally got like, giggling on the stage. Everybody comes to Look at that respect that she commands as well. This remix is lit as well. It gives me life. This is my treadmill jump. Maya. Look at them. Literally legends. Legends. You'll never see that again, guys. Never. Britney showing off her amazing dancing skills again. Christina got that black hair as well. Anyway. Come on, synchronization. You look hot. Madonna and her bitches.
stage presence, guys. You knew what was going to pause it there. Come on. Come on. Like, we're going to go back as well. We're going to go back. So, um, <laughs> as a Christina stan, I remember, like, obviously the cut to the Justin kiss. And I think she was kind of maybe a little bit bitter about that in interviews when she was kind of like, oh, yeah, they chose, like, the cheap shot of an ex. And I guess that was, like, music at the time, but... I don't think there's any need to get angry because I think when Christina came out and the comparisons kind of got a bit boring I understand it must be annoying because of how she wanted to be seen as an artist but now that I can look back and reflect because obviously um, like time has gone on but the thing is Christina got what she wanted she's a respected vocalist and you know I think having breaks definitely hurt her career especially in Europe, I think there's no excuse to have taken 14 years after Back to Basics to not have come back until the experience tour, like, none at all. Um, but then, um, obviously, like, she, she's she got the res respect that she always wanted. Like, people respect Christina as a singer and as a vocalist. And then Britney Spears is probably the most important pop icon since Madonna and I don't think anyone's come close since so like every artist on that stage is iconic and Madonna absolutely for breaking down boundaries and I know there's a lot of artists today in music like um this might be controversial what I'm going to say but it's a discussion with friends and I do wonder if the likes of like Lady Gaga or, or Harry Styles or people that are very very gay friendly now would have been as outspoken to break down those boundaries outside having them already been broken down by someone like Madonna because Madonna in the 90s like to be a gay artist even people like George Michael or, or whatever always had to deny their sexuality because it was kind of considered like it'll ruin your absolute career whereas Madonna at the time even in like 1990 she was standing up for things like HIV and the the AIDS pandemic by doing ads about safe sex and and make, uh, causing awareness and you always think this is why I say like sometimes that it's not necessarily about the talent um because it's how you use that platform as a way to kind of promote awareness and it's so important and the fact that Madonna did that in the 80s and the, uh, the 90s when it was a taboo shows how phenomenal she is as an artist and as a woman and as someone who is absolutely genuine in their art and craft not just for attention but for the fact of having complete self-belief and determination regardless of what that might do to damage them and she did suffer from it and she got slated for it and Christina was the same Britney Spears has done it and now I think it's easier to kind of say oh yeah this is what I support but back then it took a lot of guts and risks so all these ladies on stage you've got to absolutely commend them and bow down to the the backlash that they received and to the boundary boundaries that they've broken down all ladies on that stage are iconic <laughs> Hey, hey, I just I'd miss you on just for a bit of icing on the cake. Hey, Harry Silton. Amazing. Right, stop. I've got to say this. I need to say it because it annoys me. Why is Snoop Dogg laughing and throwing shade when now he is rapping doing Just Eat adverts for food? How embarrassing. I think we should be laughing at him. How embarrassing. 
because he's far from being a respected artist at this point. It, sorry, it always annoys me. I think it's rude and disrespectful. It might not be your kind of music, but you've got to appreciate those artists. And then he's rapping about food on an advert. Yikes. How could it hit you when it looks so good? Music stations always play the same song. We are bored with the concept of right and wrong. Food. Amazing. Oh my god. Amazing. Standing ovation. Amazing. Iconic near. That's what I mean, everything Britney Spears did, every time there was an award show, you had to watch it because Britney Spears, never in her prime, for the first 10 years of her career, she never disappointed. It was 100% into her craft. And, um, yeah, it's, I, I actually wonder if people actually know how iconic that performance was because all the things that I've discussed, and I know this is a bit of a long reaction video, it's absolutely amazing, guys, because these women did so much for pop culture and pop music, which even artists of today, I don't think they would have took that risk. And all of them have been inspired by all these ladies in some way, like like Madonna inspired Britney and Christina, even Lady Gaga you said that. You know, Christina inspired her with like singing "I Turn to You," and obviously, like I think every performance like must be inspired by Britney Spears, just because there's never been anyone, or there hasn't been anyone like her since, and that's why whenever Britney Spears releases a song, even a B side that's about ten years old or whatever, it'll always go to number one because um, she had that respect, and it's totally earned. And all ladies on that stage, Christina Stripped, amazing album. Britney Spears, In The Zone, phenomenal. Madonna's American Life, very underrated. My second favourite Madonna album, masterpiece. Um, and yeah, I, I don't even know what else to say. Guys, what are your reactions to this video? Was you born, or was you... you, was you um, what was your experience of it when you saw that live? I want to hear your um, stories, guys. And yeah, that concludes the reaction video to this very, very iconic performance of all these ladies. So, um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel below. Just click it, give it a like it. And thank you so much, guys. I've really enjoyed doing that. And I hope you enjoy it too. Stay safe. And summer is coming, guys.